Hey, hey, everybody, this is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem uh, or today's extra bonus problem. So I am going to do, uh, maybe I'm going to, can I select multiple? No, I thought you can. I'm going to just do a medium today just because I think I've been doing hearts. Um, and, you know, let's see if I get a random problem. Okay, there you go. Um, just doing an extra bonus question because today's daily problem was uh, an easy problem. So let's take a look. So 28, find the index of the first occurrence in a string. Um, okay. This is kind of, hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll do an extra one after this because this one's a little bit silly. Um, and also I, because this has to be the exact string, right? So in that case, actually a lot of libraries does it. So I think you have a stack dot find of needle maybe. Um, it may not return negative one though, so that's one. I don't remember what the input return. Maybe it just returns none. Oh, it returns negative one. Oh, let's give it submit and see if that works. Um, but in general, this is going to be uh, okay. Fine. Um, in general, <laughs> in general, this is going to be. Let's say haystack is O of H and this is O of L. Um, this is going to be O of H times L. There are other ways of doing it though. However, there um, this. Especially, I don't, actually, I don't know this complexly, but of course, if you do it naively, it's going to be n times l, and given that this is actually 10 to the 4th, you might actually time out. So don't do not do that. Um, there are, however, a lot, of, um, a lot of linear time solutions in terms of O of H, um, and those are kind of the high power fun things that you want to do, like, uh, what's it, Baltimore? Is it Baltimore? Hmm, maybe I, I, I'm, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Baltimore, yeah. Uh, there, there are a couple of them. Uh, Baltimore is one, uh, one of the the uh, ones. Um, there's also you know um, rolling hash or uh, Robin Carp. There's also you know like uh, which one is the one to fail your function? Is that Baltimore? Maybe that is Baltimore. Um, anyway, so there are a couple of t techniques that you should learn there, and I'm kind of being lazy here, but the idea is kind of um, you know. More Robin Cobb. So definitely play around with those. Um, I, I don't find that them that interesting for today. Maybe if I had done this another day, I would actually implement one of these out. So I don't know. But both of them are very well-known things and very things that you can actually implement by yourself. So definitely practice them, watch another YouTube video on them. And yeah, let me know what you think. I'm gonna, if you're watching this now, I think... You know, uh, there's only three minutes in, so I'm going to do another problem because this one is silly for me. So, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Um, so actually, one, one additional thing is that I don't know the complexity of this, but I would say that, to be honest, I think they optimized this. So I, I imagine it uses one of these linear ones, but I don't know for sure. So definitely let me know. But then the other, other thing is I... I'm relatively sure, though I also don't know, um, is that they actually, you know, write this in C Python, so it's written in C, so it's very optimized, very fast. So that's why, and especially in Python, you want to use library functions as much as you can for stuff like that. Anyway, that is actually what I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Um, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.